Winners of 15 of 16 coming in. 3-2 again through the left side, base hit. Beecham around third base, the throw goes to second. And Beecham scores. 2-0. Up the middle, off the glove of Jackson and into center field. Mudge scores, so does Beecham. And it's 3-0 Florida State. To some teams that might be in the tournament at the end of the year. This is to left field by McDonough, the pinch hitter, and it's caught by Mudge. What a great play by Kaylee Mudge to end a 1-2-3 inning. Hit hard to center, and it's off the glove of Laviolette. Danley around third base, she will score. Devin Flaherty brings in a run, and it's 4-0 Florida State. 3-2. Hit high and deep to left field, and gone! Wow! Beecham unloads on one for home run number 11. 5-0 Florida State. It's only a matter of time, right? You can't keep her quiet for too long. And she gets a really good pitch, hangs over the middle from Otten, and then just drives it. As we play here, seventh inning in Brighton. Oh, one hit hard. One hopper underneath the glove of Jackson. Potter around third base. Throw to the plate is just late. So how about Danley, who has two hits today, including an RBI double. 1-1. One, one. On the ground, right back to the mound. And Florida State is a 6-0 winner over Boston College. Ken went, you know, eight batters without allowing a base runner. Slyke with a drive to left. This one's carried. It's gone! Hannah Slyke with a strike to left field. Her seventh home run of the year. And BC jumps out to a 1-0 lead. Well, when you put one of your best hitters at the top of the order, this is what you're looking for. Flight out to Zoe Hines. A one off speed, grounded to second. Jackson, bobble, throw, not in time. That might be the opening for Florida State. Jackson just not able to field the ball cleanly. You know, go ahead, runs on first base here with no one out. A one, grounded by Dunning, by Robinson. Here comes Torres to the plate, she scores, and we are tied 1-1. Looks like there was an interference call. Torres got bumped on her way to third, so she scored, would have scored anyway with the interference call. But just like that, the Seminoles, on an error, a walk, and a base hit, have tied it and now have the go-ahead run at third base. Well, it doesn't miss Dunning's glove by much, but once it gets by, that's probably the only chance it had. It's just about trying to find your rhythm again. 2-2, two -two, ground ball to short, Ross comes in. One out at second, no play at first. And that is all that the Seminoles needed. Ross scores the go-ahead run. Off speed, Flaherty drives it deep to right field. It is back, it is gone! Home run number one of the year for Devin Flaherty, and she could not have picked a better time. The error to start the Inning, ground ball fielded by Torres, she fires. It's a clean seventh for Danley. And a come from behind victory for the number 18 team in the country. Florida State wins it four to one with all four runs coming in the seventh. Entering the weekend. Two two from Papillon, swinging a fly ball, deep left field, back to the wall, goodbye. 
Well, there's home run number 12 of the year for Beecham. And Florida State off to a great offensive start. It is 2-0 Seminoles. What a powerful swing by Beecham over the left center field fence. Two balls and one strike now to Torres. Swing sits on the ground, second base. Jackson's only play is to first and makes it there. Much comes in to score and the Seminoles have a three nothing lead. Off the end of the bat and in a right field for a base hit. So Slyke picks up the RBI as DeGear comes in to score and Boston College is on the board for the first time today. It's three to one. Gyrie in the air, left field and deep to the wall and gone! Nicole Gyrie ties the game with her third home run of the year. It's 3-3 in the third. Just up in the zone, and Gyrie turns the hands over. The third Boston College hit of the inning. Already thrown a ton this weekend. 3-1. Swing, hit hard, right side, fair ball. Two-run score on the double by Mudge, who's three for three. And the Seminoles take the lead back. It's 5-3. Dak, deep, left field, and gone. Katie Dak with her third home run of the year in Florida State extends the lead to 7-3. A two hit day for Dak and a no doubter. Their freshmen have been impactful. That's hit hard, down the line, fair ball into the corner. That will score two runs on the double by Torres. And it's 9-3 Seminoles. 1-1, one, one. hit hard, right field, base hit. Here comes Torres to the plate, and she scores. RBI single by Kerr. And it's 10-3 FSU. A one on the ground to third. Beecham Fields throws to first in time. And Florida State secures the victory and sweeps the series from Boston College.